not warm out there today. What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So last night we got a ton of snow, but nonetheless today's going to be pretty exciting because for the very first time I'm going to be taking out and riding the new chainsaw pocket bike that we picked up last weekend. But before I head out, I just wanted to remind you guys about the giveaway again. I'll leave it in the top of the description. It's super easy to enter. Just be a subscriber and then comment down below on that video which prize you prefer and why let's try and get out of this parking spot because if you guys know anything about heavy snows when the plow goes by it kind of blocks your car in i think i should be able to get out we made it right now i'm taking a little detour because the roads are pretty bad right now. Um, they're plowed, but some of them have slush on them and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna go check out where we did the top speed runs and see if that road's clear because that'd be a perfect spot to test out this bike. That's a lot of snow. So I'm on the road right now. It's not really looking great at all. Honestly, no roads are looking good. Like I said, it just snowed yesterday, so they're not completely cleared or melted because it's still pretty cold out. Actually two degrees out right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna head back and pick up the bike and we should be able to do some test passes on this road. <sighs> it feels like I've been driving for hours. So I just got to the house, but I just thought of something. I never even checked how much gas is in the bike when I bought it. Hopefully I have enough because it's a pre-mix, so I don't really feel like mixing oil and gas right now. And plus I don't know the exact ratio yet. I should figure that out though. Whoa, two pocket bikes, dude. So if you guys are new to the channel, these are the two bikes I have right now. Both of them are gonna be projects. We're gonna do a complete restoration on both. If you guys look back on my past videos, I've done a bunch of restoration on different pocket bikes and other things like go-karts and stuff. So let's actually unscrew this for the first time. See how much gas we got in here. All right, so I don't know how deep this tank actually goes, but I can definitely see gas in there. Hopefully that's enough for today's little festivities. I'm definitely gonna have to grab some gloves for riding. So yeah, normal Normally I'd ride the bike on these paths, but I don't know, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to pick up speed because of how curvy they are and they're not completely cleared. But it's all good, I should be able to get some good top speed footage um, at the spot that we normally ride at. Since it's so cold out, I should definitely start up the bike to make sure it runs before I start loading it up and I actually drive over there. So there's no choke on this bike. Oh, by the way, that's part of the giveaway. Anyway, so there's no choke on this bike. Last time I used this premium starting fluid and I'll show you guys how you actually prime it and put it in there. So you just give it a couple sprays right in this little tube here. And it should fire up. Nice, that was like the first pull, I think. Pretty impressive. my camera can handle these kind of conditions it's so cold out and i better bring that starting fluid just in case i need it when we actually get there you already know i'm getting this ready for when i get back sorry buddy i can't bring you this time you guys almost let me forget my helmet so now i just need to grab some gloves and we're off to the races oh what so we're here this is actually an airport right behind me um ready to unload the bike but I gotta say I'm already loving traveling with this thing although I could put the x7 in the back of my car and it actually fit this thing is just way lighter and it's way easier for one person to unload and load let's take out the bike and let's try and get some good footage on this not so great road
much. I hope I was recording for that. Yep. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I literally crashed right away. As soon as I accelerated, the back tire pretty much came out from under me and I pretty much slid on that ice. That killed my leg pretty bad, but yeah, I, by the way, I loaded up the bike right after I crashed. It's freezing out here. People are starting to look at me funny. So I'm going to take the bike back and I'll show you guys the damage. Oh my gosh, guys. So I just got the bike in. I got all my gear inside now. So a good thing is I don't really see any visible damage on the bike. I did try and start up the bike right after I crashed it, but it just did not want to start. It was probably one because of the freezing weather out there and two, the fuel might've gotten like sloshed around a little bit when I wiped out. But nonetheless, it was probably for the better because there's just no way I'm riding the pocket bikes this weekend. Not unless they like threw a ton of salt down and actually got the little thin layer of snow that's on the roads off there. But I don't know. I just thought that I might've been able to keep my weight on the bike and it would just kind of keep the bike from slipping out. But right away I could feel that back tire trying to slip out as I accelerated. And not to mention I was the, and not to mention that was the first ride for me on that bike. Man, you seriously have to have your knees out while you're riding it because it's tiny. It's like a clown bike basically. But I hope you guys enjoyed me failing on the pocket bike this weekend. If you're not already, click that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. I hear a lot of big YouTubers saying that, so I'm just gonna start saying it now. Turn on those post notifications, comment down below what you guys are thinking, and smash that like button. Let's go for 50 likes for this video. All right guys, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.